Hi, uh, this is just a short video to show you how to publish an Adobe Connect uh, recording into Moodle for, so that your students can view a recording. Okay, so go to your Adobe Connect service, which in our case happens to be currently at itsligo.adobeconnect.com and log in. And hopefully my password inserted there is correct. And uh, you should get this window comes up. Okay, what we need to do now is go to the meetings. Um, I tend to refer to these as meeting rooms because we use the same meeting over and over again. It's like a room that can be reused. Let's see what meeting rooms I have. Okay, so let's pick this one here. Say second year Matt Civil. Just say that was the group. Okay, and we click that and move into that. And along here you'll see that it has various things you can do with this, meet with this meeting. But over here you can see we have recordings okay so this is where the links to our information about the recordings all the recordings that were done with this meeting room are so let's click on that recordings so here are the various recordings that we have here now one thing i should draw your attention to here is that all those four recordings here are actually public but that's not automatically so chances are if you've just made a recording that recording will not be public how would you make it public if it wasn't well you would tick in this little tick box here on the left and you would select access type and you would click on public you can see it's already set to public there here I could set it back to private that would probably be what it would look like if it hadn't been made public and then you would just click on public and by the way it does give you the option to set a passcode but it's not really necessary because the the links are generated randomly and they're so obscure that nobody would guess them they effectively act as a passcode okay so we would set that to public and we would save it so it becomes public now but every recording has a link or a URL uh, and we need to get that and give it to the students so let's pick this particular recording we'll notice here this is the URL for viewing okay we need to get a copy of that. Now an easy way to do that is to highlight like that and then right click on it and copy the link. Okay, so we've taken a copy of that link and what we're going to do now is we're going to go into our Moodle page and post that where the students can find it. So let me just bring in my Moodle page. Here's my Moodle page, the foundations of knitting okay and let's see how we could give it to them well one way to do it might be to go to the news forum and to add a new topic okay remember the news forum will send out an email to all the students so or you could put uh, how about this week three recording okay blah 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 you know we had a great lecture last night you might those of you who didn't make it might like access to the recording and then you would down here right click paste oh that one's not so i'll just have to use control v or i think the edit on the, on a, a browser will sometimes do that i don't seem to have that here but control v will do that hold down the control key press v and that's that link in okay you might like to make sure that that link doesn't get messed up by the receiving email you can actually highlight that click on insert link and put that behind it but that's not strictly speaking necessary usually whoever's receiving this an email will be able to just uh, it will convert it to a live link in their email so you would then just go and we'll post that to the forum okay and I don't think there are any people enrolled in that uh, test course so that's going to be emailed to anyone who's enrolled in this course but hopefully nobody's enrolled in it so nobody gets a an email so there we click it open there and you can see that link is there now another way you might like to do it is you might like to structure your course let's just go back to where here's our demonstration course here you might like to structure your course in weeks and this might be a recording for this here knitting essentials okay it could be for that week so what we need to do is go to that week 
Okay, turn editing on. This is another way to do it so that it always appears on the page. Okay, so knitting is essentials. So add an activity or resource. Okay, and what we're going to do, the resource we're going to add is a link to an external web page because in a way your recording is an external web page or an external web URL. So we're going to add a link to that external page. Okay, so we just to go over that again, we turn editing on, we go down to the bottom of the week, we're going in, add an activity or resource, and URL is the type of resource we're going to add. So just let's add that. Okay, and uh, we'd say our week three recording. Okay, and you might say You can write some more about it there, okay? Now the most important thing is, now this is not like an email that goes out, this is actually an, a, a line that will be on your page and when they click on it, your recording will open. That's what we want to do. So you actually have to see this external URL. We have to put it in here. So I think my paste is there. My paste worked this time, okay? So there's that obscure link to the recording. Now here there's one important thing I must uh, emphasize here is we want this to open in a pop-up window. It certainly doesn't work well in embed, so it works most reliably in a pop-up window. And it'll come up in quite a small window so they can resize it to a larger window. That's up to the students. Uh, don't worry about that, but it will pop up in a pop-up because it displays best in that. So I think we're ready to go. By the way, you could write a slightly lar more longer description here, but not really necessary. It's probably better just to write a fairly explanatory uh, uh, title up here. Week 3 recording on how to get wool off a sheep. Okay, uh, so let's go back and return to the course and go down to that week we were working with. You see here, week 3 recording. By the way, if you now want to move that, you can move that up here. Okay. So let's just link to, let's test that link, okay? This should pop open in a new window. And indeed it does. Now I have no idea what that was a recording of. So it'll be interesting to see what it was. I think I was just testing drawing. But a recording should come up here shortly. There it is. So that's the Adobe Connect recording playing. Well, we're connecting anyway. There it goes. Okay, let's not worry about that. So that's how it works. Okay, I hope this has been some help to you.